everyone and welcome back. My name is Pandora and welcome back to Dear Mona chapter 35 Mark or Sean. This is our last chapter so let's get into it. Dear Mona, we're now getting to the end of my of the story. I decided to write this letter to you so you'd get a glimpse into why I made the choices I made. I didn't always do what was right. I made mistakes along the way, and I hurt people along the way, including myself. But in the end, it gave me you. And from the very first day, I loved you more than life. One month after the birth. Pandora, look! She's smiling. I think it's just gas, Mom. But it is adorable, isn't it? She is the sweetest baby in the world. How did you get so lucky? I ask myself that all the time. I might be the only mother in history who hasn't lost any sleep. Momona is just perfect. But how can she not be? She is my granddaughter after all. <laughs> that she is. Now, did you feed her any afternoon bottle yet yes and did you wash her sheets you can't have her on dirty sheets of course what about her pacifier it needs to be sanitized after every use mom everything is taken care of you're way too agnotic you need to trust me you're right I'm sorry it's okay. It's a big adjustment for us both. I have a wonderful adjustment, though. That's because Mona is so wonderful. Just look at her. I can't believe how much hair she has. It's getting long already. She looks like just like her mom. An absolute beauty. Pandora, Glenn, Ray, I'm so proud of you, you know. I suppose you are, if you're calling me by my full name. Thanks, Mom. Thank you for being there for me. Of course, honey. I love our family. I love that little Mona is now a part of it. Hogging my baby again, Miss Ray. Hello, Blair. And of course I am. We can't get enough of her. Hey, Blair. Ready for our walk? I think Mona's really been loving it. Especially when Max pushes her carriage over the bumps. Ugh, I was, um, I was ready, but I bought you in your mail and a certain letter came in. Oh my, it's here. The DNA test results? Yeah. I figured you might want to. Yeah. Yeah, I should. Do you want us to read it together? I think I know who I have to read this to with. I lean the truth I learned the truth then, beyond my doubt. The scientific proof was finally there, and it left me with the duty to meet the boys and let them know. How's my perfect angel today? And please don't puke on this shirt. <laughs> I only have one clean shirt left. She certainly has a sense of humor. I think she peeks on all your work shirts on purpose. I think so, too. Like father, like daughter. That's exactly why I called you over. And I'm just going to blurt it out. Mark, you are Mona's father. And I got the test results today. You're, you're sure? Yes. Congratulations. I... I don't think I've ever been this happy in my life. I'm so thankful. So thankful for you both. I'm so thankful for you both too. You're our beautiful daughter. Our beautiful family. What did I do to ever deserve you two? <laughs> Thanks, Mark. Does this mean you and I? Give me a bit more time, okay? If we end up together, I don't want to look back and think that I chose you because of Mona. And in, if we end up together, that will be because I want you. Regardless of your 
parental. And today is a day really is about Mona learning who her daddy is. Let's just be happy and discuss this and, and uh, discuss this information deal. Pandora, I was just going to call you. Sorry I haven't been by for a few days. I've been super busy. Don't worry about it. I understand. How's Mona? Oh, she's doing great. She's amazing. I may be basically, basically because I'm her mom, but she's perfect in every way. <laughs> that she is. Look, Sean, there's something I want to talk to you about. The first, I want to thank you for being there for me this month. You are an amazing person and an amazing man. So, thank you. Of course. You don't have to thank me. And there's no easy way to say this, but I got the DNA results today. I, I read them. And I know I prefer you for this, but I'm sorry. Mark is the father. Can't say I didn't see this coming. Mona looks just like Mark. Yeah. Wow, I think I need some water. For some reason, it still really hurts. I'm so sorry, Sean. Please let me know if there's anything I can do. Yeah. So does that mean that you and I... You mean... You still have, you still have me? Hell yeah, I'd always have you. I love you, Pandora. And I love Mona. I won't get in Mark's way, but I'm st I'd am still have you. Let's just discuss... Uh, this information. I need a little bit more time. Yeah, time. Ah, oh, Pandora. How is that beautiful baby? Please don't ever feed her bananas. She hates them. She does? Take my word for it. Okay. So, there's something I want to ask you. And I'm just going to come right out and say it. How would you feel about taking over the shop? You can move into the apartment upstairs. What? What? Mr. Lee and I want to travel. I'm ready to retire. But I don't want to see my shop in the wrong hands. I... I don't know what to say. Say yes. I have seen the future, and you will be very happy here. I don't think I can run a shop. I don't know anything about... You will be fine. You can go over everything together. Obviously, you won't do readings, but I have a few friends who can pop in now and again. I... I... Wow! The only question that remains is, who are you going to fight here with you? I can't put this off any longer. I need to choose one of them. I know who I want to be with. I have to be true to myself. And being true to myself means I choose... Mark. It's always been Mark. Mark? Pandora, you've been crying. Are you okay? Mark, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry I didn't forgive you quicker. I'm sorry about Sean, and I'm so sorry I had no you wait so long. I love you. And I want you, Mona, and I to be a family. Oh, Pandora, don't apologize. Life doesn't always go the way we want it to. And I wasn't lying before. Of course I'll have you. You, Mona, and I are a family. Thank God. Thank God I've cho you've chosen me. Every time I we've been through has been worth it. Yes. Maybe if we stay together the whole time, it wouldn't be the same. And I wouldn't be so sure that you're the one. 
but now I know. You're the happiest when I'm with you. You warm my heart, Mark. You feel like home. I love you so much. I always have, and I always will. And I love you too, forever. And now, let's get go get Mona and celebrate. Yes. So that's the story. And that's why I chose who I chose. It wasn't easy. Telling Sean we had to end things, but it was the right choice. And Daddy loves you so much. And so do I. Love, Mommy. The end. How interrogating. I never expected one of my birthday presents would be this really old letter. Mom said to read it when I'm alone and to come talk to her later. I just hope this isn't her giving me dating advice, because I most definitely don't need any. I'm perfectly fine to leave things as they are, free of boys and free of drama. Hi, Mona. I've been doing math homework and wanted to check something. You are the smartest girl in class, so can we meet? I don't know, Liam. Come on, let's grab a cup of coffee. I will te bring the textbooks. I can't. I'm really busy. You always say that. But okay, I'll see you on Monday then. Well, just great. Liam simply won't give up. I'll have to handle this somehow. Because sooner or later, I'm going to run out of excuses. Find out more about Mona in our Love Mona story. That is it for this one. We finished it. And the next one we'll start is Love Mona. You know the whole story about Mona. But what happens after the happily ever after? Will Mona manage to avoid mistakes her mom made? I hope so. But that will be it. We will follow. Uh, start this one next time. But if you are liking this series or love this series, hit that subscribe button. Hit that bell icon because I upload twice a day. And if you want to see more Mona stories, come to the channel. But I'll see you lovelies in the next video. Bye, guys.